Okay, so today we we're going to be making stars in the blender. And some of them will be twinkling. And some of them will just be your average like star you see at night. And this will mostly be made of nodes, but the twinkling stars will be made of UV spheres. So let's jump into it. You're gonna press the shading tab. You're going to uh, you're going to press this this object little top thing. You're gonna make this world, and you're going to go into this mode. You're going to go to right view, line view, line out to cam to view. And delete that. I'm gonna add in a noise texture. Add the fact into color, like so. Don't scale to 400. Because before, when it, the skill was at 5, I think we can all agree that that did not look like stars because it was really, really big clumps of noise. So we're going to add in a color ramp now. Add in. And then you're going to drag this depending on how many stars you want. I don't like that many stars. going to make this like... Like that. I think that's a nice color. Then you're gonna go add a moss grave texture. You're going to turn the scale to 0 0.0001. Gonna turn the detail up all the way to 15. And then you're going to add in another color ramp. Yes, all these color ramps are necessary. I'm not just trying to make you like angry of adding a bunch of like, you know, color ramps. So now you're going to go back to add, you're going to add in a math node right here. Gonna put it here, put the color into value. I'm gonna make the value five. And you're going to put the value into the strength that's going to make it really light, so I uh, like a really light color. So I'm going to make it like... Like that. I think that looks like a good color. Now make sure you save this. Because if you do not, it will be not good for you. Because I don't think you want to redo this whole entire tutorial. So it's good if you save it. So once you save it, we will now add in a UV sphere and this is to make the twinkling stars. So you're gonna scale it down to a star that you think is like an appropriate size. You're gonna go to the the material properties new, make the principal BSDF and emission. You're gonna go make this um, into timeline, you're going to make it two, a heel, keyframe, and then you're going to go to five, and then you're going to make it 30. And make sure you turn on bloom and put the intensity all the way up. Now, if the aura of light is like really, like really intense, like way too intense, you just scale it down until it's less intense. Okay, I think that's like good. Now you just keep on shifting your um, keyframes. Obviously you can like, like shift them more if you want it to be more accurate, like more realistic. And if you don't want it to be like as realistic as that, you can just do it kind of like what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's good. And then if you look at it, it should almost close from here. But I think we actually made this a little bit too small. It's a little bit too big. Okay, now you have a twinkling um, star. Okay, so you're going to put it over here. And you're going to shift it, not the keyframes. Shift D the store, put it over here, and press this new material thing because if you do not, when you move these keyframes, 
oval 260 like it will um, also double. bring this one so you don't want that because stars do not twinkle at the same time usually it would be pretty rare for stars to twinkle at the exact same time like maybe pretty close but not the exact so you're gonna press this select all move to like 60 select it press g and then you're gonna move it to like 120 shift it again and then you're going to new then 180 and now your stars now twinkle so that will be the end of the video i hope this helped you on learning how to make stars twinkle and i'll see you in the next one bye